I generally prefer to do presentations that are very image heavy. However, there are times where you just have a list of things you want to talk about, and you may also want to be able to send around the slideshow to colleagues later and have them be able to read the slides without the accompanying talk. In those cases, bullet points are still a really good option for your presentation. However, you, with a little bit of work, you can make the simple list of bullet points more interesting. So in this particular example, we have a short presentation about library highlights. We have a title slide and we have got two detail slides. Now on these so far, you just see a big mass of text. It's not very interesting from an audience perspective. It's a lot to read. You know, if you ever present with the slides like this, you typically give the audience uh, 30 seconds or so when they're not paying attention to you and knowing that they're just reading the slides in advance. So there's a couple things we can do to improve this. The first one is we can give some more visual space between each bullet point. Now you gotta be careful with this because you never really know if the room you're presenting in is going to have people sitting right behind each other and a low projector screen. If that happens, you're gonna lose the bottom half or the bottom quarter of your slide deck. But if you know the room in advance, then we can go ahead and use the space a little more effectively. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go in and select all my text and the easiest way of providing a little more visual space is to go to line spacing. So I'm using my Mac version of PowerPoint right now, but the option's pretty similar for the PC version. You can see if I go up to 1.5, it gives me a lot more space between the top and the bottom. The only problem I have here is though that classroom should be visually grouped with the first point when now it's kind of in the middle. So as an alternative, what you can do is go to your line spacing options. And we have the spacing option here, or how much space do you want before each bullet point, how much space do you want after each bullet point. We go ahead and bump it up to about 30 points and go back to our text. Now we see that we've got each bullet point is nicely separated by itself. I'm going to go ahead and do the other slide as well. Select all my text, go to my line spacing option, and then increase it to 30 pixels of space after each bullet point. And so doing this, I have a nice differentiation between each point, and then it spreads it out very nicely. The second thing we can do to bump up this presentation a little bit is to highlight certain words inside of each bullet point. So if we go to our first one here, really the important part here that I as a speaker need to remember is the actual electronic study hall lab, or perhaps the word classes, if I want to differentiate between classes, small groups, and individuals. So to do this, we can do a couple of things. First off, usually bold the word. You can make the word a little bit larger. So say we do this part, we make it a little bit, bump it up a little bit. Oops, on there. We bump up small groups a little bit. We bold it. And then we also bump up individuals and bold it. So this is a nice way of visually giving some weight of saying what's the important part of each point here. As another option, we can also highlight using some color. So if we want to say students have a quiet place to study, we're emphasizing quiet and studying, then we go ahead and just choose a theme color. So maybe we're going to choose you know, bright blue if we want to make it very distinctive. And then the bright blue pops out nicely. Another option we can do beyond just doing the same color is actually choosing the theme. So if you notice in PowerPoint, both versions, you have these bars of color. And if you choose bars of the same height, they tend to go pretty well together. So the first one, I'm going to choose this dark blue here. I'll go ahead and choose check out books and I'm going to give that red and bold. Librarians, I'm going to make green and bold. And then power outlets, I'll use purple for that color. Bold it as well. So now if you look at this, I'm going to go ahead and run my show here so you can see it full screen. You have a lot more differentiation on a couple of keywords. You know, quiet in place to study, checking out books, librarians, power outlets. So it lets your audience quickly scan and get an idea of what you're going to talk about without having to read every single word. Same thing for the black and white version. And we have a larger bit of, bit of larger font and a bit of bold. So it helps pull out the differentiation of classes, small groups, and individuals.